his backline. But what Millennium can do very, very, very big ward, he sees that, surely. Uh, I mean, I know he's blind, but come on, now he sees it. There we go. Self is in trouble. He's going to be able to get away from this one. There is first blood. Konex is going to lock that one down. Yeah. Can create he's a play off this, but he may be in trouble. As you mentioned, the rubber ducky comes on down again. It's going to be Konex locking him up, but he's going to use that ghost to get away. Along with a flash, he's still taking a lot of damage. This is a dangerous play. You can see Kerb comes in. The passive is there, and that's a lot of damage coming out. And again, Really? And they're making front of Bumble hurt. If Millennium go in for this, they're going to be a little split. Let's see on the positioning. All five of them were caught by that Mega Inferno Bomb. The rest of Millennium close in there. Here comes Kevin Dragon. The set available. Pounces through. Destroys Impaler where he stands. That means, the, of course, the jungler is down. rat -a tat tat was coming out from Creaton. Far, this bottom lane. Creaton maybe looking to go aggressive, but Impaler is there, ready and waiting to go this time around. There's the solar flare lands. J. Reed's going to come out. Destiny will come through this time. The Stun Cup is on J. Reed. He pulls him in towards the tower. He may go down with the price for it, but that tower's putting a lot of damage. Creaton tries to get that rat attack -tap down, but it didn't quite do enough damage this time around. May get surrounded. It'll still be 3v4. I don't know if Millennium wants this. That's a lot of damage they do now. Three members caught out by that Mega Inferno bomb. There's the Essential Charge bouncing them back around. They're going to try and lock up Creaton instead. They're diving in towards him. Kerb is being caught off the side there. He gets one down. He turns onto a selfie. It's a good stun, but then bombs are going to be ready. He misses it. Doesn't land it on there. Then he guy goes down. Selfie does get taken out by Carnex. And now we were fail is going to get cut targeted down here. They have 80 carry in jungler. If Impaler doesn't get a good Dragon's Rage kick, they're going to be in trouble. Gonna catch on towards him, but he's gonna get spotted out. The ping was just off the side, but there's too much damage going down. Destiny comes in though, he's gonna try and teleport it towards him. Mimer comes down here, he's gonna get the stun up. Oh, he didn't quite get the kill. The ignite running, no! The shield is enough for Impaler to just about survive. Stick around, the tower's getting very, very low. And they've got a crew to 5,000 gold lead. We will fellas about to run into three. I think this could end badly. Oh, they're going to spot Konex there. Of course, the ultimate destiny will show him out there. He puts a lot of damage down towards him, tries to stun lock them as much as he can. But there we go. We will fail against hooked up. Death Sensors in there. Destiny again did not come down from Selfie. I'm pretty sure that must have been interrupted by Kirby. That he just chose not to come. There is the tower. Four members of Millennium keep on pushing because Kelly to defend. If they group up, look for a Mega Inferno Bomb. This is going to give them the tower. Oh, it only caught one, but there's going to be a pale hooked in, they follow straight through on it. They managed to get the flay onto Mr. Rollins and Millennium may well have gone too deep on this one. We will fail gets in there. Great side of flare locks down one in the form of Cornex. That tower's still yet to fall and that's actually a big sacrifice for Millennium because they gave up the top turret for this one. If oh. Millennium comes in, oh, Kerb's gonna get away. That red buff not quite enough to take. They're in a turret and it is a very difficult line to break. Oh, Konex caught out, Destiny will show him, caught him towards a ping ward as well, and Paler does get him towards him, can't get around the back of him, and now Kraton comes in, rat -a -tat running, and just mows down in Paler, catching on towards Selfie, Selfie trying desperately to get away, he's got no summoner spells available, the hook could come out from J. Ree, but the Zonyas, well, you're dead still, son, you're not gonna get away from that one, no doubt about it, and actually, the leads they built up. Here we go though, you can see Kerp getting some poke off, Destiny coming out there, I'm not sure Selfie wanted to go for that one, there is the ultimate coming down, Connex is in there, Zonny's outclass mitigates a lot of the damage, Selfie does manage to flash away, and Pain is going to get focused on Kevin, trying to put the Dragon's Rage all over him, we will Pain are going to get locked down, Graton gets out, safe. Konex are now, he's going to get locked up, Mr. Rala's trying to put the damage down, he will get a kill, but maybe to the detriment of his own life as the Ignite burns him down, there's the bouncing bombs coming back in once again, and while the rest of the Super Hawk crew was so focused on taking the blue buff, away from the fact that Kevin was pushing it. Two bar crew have arrived to the pile late. Creatin, he's looking for the kill, oh, fail is dead. Delph Bomber comes in, he won't be able to catch him out, but Konex flashes through. There's gonna be the Super Mega Inferno Bomb coming through. Throwing a little bit of jinx in there as well, who knows? Kevin's gonna pounce on through, Randy and Zoman will slow him, Paler down when he does. he can to get some global gold back, but it's not gonna be enough. Inhibitors down, Millennium now have complete. Between the teams. They're looking to try and make a pick here. Destiny being pulled. Where are they going to go? He's going deep in on this one. He has got Zonny's Hourglass ready. Konex pulled away. Not going to make it. He gets shut down. The AD carry down. Konex is going to get locked up as well. He gets taken down. And suddenly, the super hot crew take out. Super Destiny's crew used. The Twisted Fate is going in. Can they get a kill? He's got Zonny's Hourglass. He's going to have to pull it pretty quick, though. There it is. Bunch of do better Gangnam style in the same time. Creaton does manage to get caught out, but he flashes away. He's got rat -tat, tat running, and he's just mowing down the super hot crew. And Paler has to try and punch him away. Selfie did get himself one kill. Millennium getting even more presence. This eighth tower secured. And we need to see if somebody can pop it. Ooh. A wild card has to connect. The Fnatic Death Push. Will it work out? Will it work out? Super hot crew. They have no idea. It's in there. Kraton's going to be the focus target. They try and jump in towards him. Then lock him down with the side of Flamber. And Paler punts him out. They get the wrap down. Jerry now focused. Konex taking all the damage. He's got no Guardian Angel. Mima doing the damage around the side. He Paler tries to 
come on towards Kerb with that Guardian Angel. Impaler will go down. Kerb is still being focused on it. Mima can't get him down. Connex is taken so low. It's a triple kill for Kerb. Mr. Rylans comes back around the side. Kerb back out of his Guardian Angel. We were Impaler has to try and get out of this one. Mr. Rylans putting the damage down. He takes Kerb, flashes out. Has he got the life steal to survive through this? Kevin is gonna try oh, and knock him down. In. The quadruple kill was picked up by um, Kerb in the meantime. Mr. Rylans is life stealing away. He's trying to do everything he can. He's got the armor penetration, but Kevin has enough to lock him down. And it is the ace for Millennium. While that was all happening, Cornex has snuck around the side, but he hasn't quite got enough to take down his in it. And once Crook can go for this one, Impaler is ready and waiting to pounce. He's not within smite range right yet. He has got the bounce ward down. Here it is. That's gonna be Destiny Pop. They have full vision of this one, but Impaler is too low to get involved in that one. And it is easy in the end for Millennium. Moment selfie shows his face. Expect Millennium to get some more hits in this inhibitor. We will fail our solar flare. He needs to use it at some point if Super Hawk want to defend any of these inhibitors. Oh, there's a hook on We Will Fail. Will they follow through? There's a lot of damage on towards him. The Ignite is thrown down. They're going to try and back it up. Selfie goes in. Zonny Zaglas pulled in. Kraton gets picked out. That's going to be a big Mega Inferno bomb locking him down. Mime is in all sorts of trouble. He's locked off the side. Impaler tries to come in and help out, but he's going to simply have to back away from this one while it's all happening. Now we're going to see Mr. Riley. Is he going to get involved in this one? No, he can't because he's taken so, so low, and that will be the inhibitor. Could it be the game for Millennium? There is so much damage on the side of Millennium. If they get onto the Nexus turrets, they certainly... Sure. Kevin takes a burst of damage, but only a thousand hit points shredded off him. He's still, as you mentioned, just going to regenerate that lot. He takes another stun there. guard. Millennium taking a lot of damage here, Kevin. He has to you take that guard. Oh, and Payne has gone deep on this one. Kicks three of them in there. You can see that Mr. Rod is trying to pull the damage down just over the side there. Kerb gets locked down, taken down. Selfie back in there. Now we will fail and locking up on towards Grant. On Grant on taking down. Mimer's on him. And would you believe Super Hot Crew turning this one back around? Selfie's running for his life. Pulls the goal card out. Throws it towards Connex. Throws out another one. He Straight away doing the damage on towards him, the Lich Pain proc is available. That's the only weapon to try and make this steal. Oh, they have no it. vision of it. They can see it's taken low. You can see it's 3,000 hit points. 2,000 hit points. It's coming in. He's got oh! it. I don't believe that's just happened. How have they let it go through? How have they let... Oh, my God. Super hot crew have super terrible calling. It's that simple. They all stopped hitting Barrett previously. Giant stack moving in that top lane, and Millennium are going to know about it soon or later. Somebody's going to have to go up there. Those death sentences being flung out. We were failure actually being caught out with the target. Selfie taking a bouncing bomb there. Coronex are taking some grief from the rest of the team. But just like that, the game is over. Millennium are going to run on through the mid lane. Impaler's getting taken down here. Coronex for a little damage. Death sentence is not quite landing. Kurt taking a lot of damage. They have to use that Zonia's hourglass. The inhibitor's gone down. The super minions are coming through. And Millennium, they've still made a meal of this one. 55 minutes to get this game complete, but it's not over yet. The Solar Flare lands. Kevin tanking up the turret. The turret finally going down, but Kevin will fall with it. The rest of Millennium, they're just saying, finish the goddamn game as they move on towards the Nexus. And Millennium go 2 0 in day one of Super Week. Absolutely dramatic finish. You do, like I say, you hang on. For 50 minutes, it was a roughly when they finally got that 4 2 fight at their own. Inhibit.